The unfailing love of Jesus is unspeakably glorious, sacred, and precious, especially right after sexual sin. Because our sexuality is so delicate and personal and sort of, our consciences are especially tender in this area of sexual sin. So we are so grieved that the steep letdown after a visit to a porn site, after the, the short gratification, the steep letdown is uh, so injuring and grievous. I believe that in that very moment of shame, sorrow, after sexual sin, that is when the heart of Christ moves toward us with the most tenderness and understanding and desire to help. Um, the Bible is so clear. I'm thinking of Hosea chapter 11 verses 8 and 9 where it's the very, the very holiness of God that moves him so powerfully to be tender toward sinful people. How many of us believe that about God? It's in the Bible. We've got to believe that. We can believe that. We have in Christ every right to dare to believe that. So when, not if, when you and I sin at some sexual level, Jesus himself invites us closer to his heart. For example, uh, in John chapter 8, when the woman is caught in the very act of adultery, of course, we all wonder, where was the guy? How did he get uh, let off the hook? The hypocrisy was blatant. Everything was against her. And she was surrounded by accusers. Jesus flipped it and sent them on their way and drew her into himself and gave her her life back right then and there. He did not say, I don't condemn you. He said, neither do I condemn you. In other words, I'm now speaking on behalf of this whole social environment around you. There is now surrounding you a non-condemning, supportive social environment defined by me, declared by me, and I hereby pronounce you non-condemned. Now. Go and sin no more. Get your life back. Live again.